A truck driver shortage is turning into a smelly situation for some Oahu residents as mounds of trash start to pile up. Nikki Shenfeld reports. This is the rubbish site at Punchbowl Homes in Makiki. The smell is overwhelming with flies everywhere. But that's just piling up, right? I mean, and it's, uh, it needs to be addressed. People inside the state housing facility say trash hasn't been picked up in about 10 days. You can smell it, you can smell it, you know. But uh, I don't think it's going too good with the people in the lower levels because, oh, that, that is radiating right on out. So it's going to attract uh, rats, it's going to attract uh, every other thing, flies and all sorts of rodents. This is the dumpster behind Punchbowl Homes and part of another apartment complex. The dumpster reads Aloha Waste. After making several calls, we found out West Oahu Aggregate acquired Aloha Waste back on July 1st. The company, already short on drivers, was hoping it would acquire Aloha Waste drivers, but many took different jobs, leaving West Oahu Aggregates with more routes and pickup locations and the same number of drivers. The company says it's aware of customer complaints and admits it's been missing routes and pickups have been delayed. West Oahu Aggregates GM for Refuse says town areas are particularly impacted because it's difficult to accommodate so many buildings with different pickup hours with only four drivers. One of the solutions West Oahu Aggregate is trying to provide its customers are these large open trash bins usually used for construction, but just until they're able to find more drivers. We showed West Oahu Aggregate what it looked like at Punchbowl Homes, which was in Aloha Waste Route prior to the acquisition. And the company says they will send crews to check it out. The state tells us other properties have not had pickups and they are working on alternative options. They say they have some driver recruits ready to go, but refuse collection drivers require about six to eight weeks of additional training. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.